Welcome to Oz. You know, when it comes to The Wizard of Oz, you've seen it a million times, and you never really get tired of it. Well, we here at Real Life have met the ultimate Oz fan, or at least close to it. You know, when it comes to collecting Oz memorabilia, there's no place like her home. <laughs> From the bedroom to the living room, right down to the cookie jars in the kitchen. For the story, we're off to where else? Gurney, Illinois. <laughs> See, you thought it was going to be Kansas, didn't you? Uh-uh. <laughs> Trevetto, and I'd like to invite you into my land of Oz. This is the living room, and everywhere you look, there is Oz. It happens to be my favorite room. I have some of my best collectibles in here, from the dolls and to the plates on the wall. I knew a few years ago I had well over 2,000 pieces, and now within the last couple years, I haven't even bothered to take a count. I describe my house as a wonderful place. Um, a lot of people say, oh, let's, let's go over to Foos, to the Emerald City. You know, it's home. It's, there's no place like home, and this is it. Yeah, I'm just used to it. This is my house now, you know? I mean, it's, I come home, and I see the eyes, and... It's just like some people come home and see all the wallpaper and the paintings and everything else on the wall. Well, I see all the odd stuff. This is our coffee table, and I've turned it into my own jewelry box. Over here in this corner is the Wicked Witch of the West. And I had a lot of fun with this dress. My sister got married two years ago, and I actually wore it to her wedding and reception, and it was a lot of fun. I think I really like the Wicked Witch of the West the best of all the characters because she really frightened me as a child. And all these pictures here are autographed by Margaret Hamilton. And this one here says, Helpful, I'm melting, melting. Follow me along the yellow brick road into the kitchen. Here in the kitchen I painted a yellow brick border. And the plates on the, on the border are from 1970, and those are the very first Wizard of Oz plates that came out. And you can imagine my husband's horror when I said to him, Honey, can you get some of that yellow curb paint? And he found it. I do a lot of baking, and I even make Wizard of Oz cookies, and I found a way to make Glinda sugar. You think you've seen a lot of Oz? Wait till you see this. This is the Oz room. This was my son's room, and when he moved out, right away, put up shelves, started pulling in all the Oz that I had in boxes and in back bedrooms and stuff, and started to display it. I just couldn't believe she had so much stuff. I mean, that room is packed with stuff. I just couldn't believe there was that much. And it's neat. Uh, it's better than if she was into some other movie. Uh, Rocky or something, yeah, Sylvester Stallone all over the walls or something. That wouldn't be too cool. The grandkids love to come in this room. They love just to come in here and look around. They're very good. They don't touch, they don't play. They have their own toys. These are Grandmama's toys. Well, this was my daughter's room, and now it's the guest room. This is the Wicked Witch of the East. That's the Wicked Witch of the West sister. In the movie, the house falls on her, but here, the bed fell on her. So I made the shoes, and um, I hand sewed each sequin on. There's over 2,000 sequins per shoe. I'll let you in on a little secret. This is the master bedroom, and I'm going to turn it into the witch's castle, complete with castle headboard, flying winged monkeys, hourglass crystal ball. I'll let you know when it's ready. <laughs> it would be different, but it wouldn't be a shocker by no means. I mean, I... What's one more room, huh? <laughs> and when you look around, you can just imagine what I might be able to do with that room, huh? I can just imagine. Can just imagine. Well, if you're thinking Foo's husband, Nick, is the most patient and tolerant man in the world, you should know this. He's the culprit who gave her the collection bug in the first place. When Foo bought one plate of the Wicked Witch of the West, Nick ran out and bought the rest of the entire set. 